setting up and programming a Q Contura QL10 laundry unit. Start off by removing the front cover, then removing the little cover which covers the switch. We then move the switch over to the left hand side to put the unit into learn mode. Easy way to remember, left learn. We then power the unit up Now that it is initialized, you will notice that the blue LED next to the prime light is flashing. This indicates that it is now in learn mode. By pressing and holding the prime button, you can adjust the speed at which the pump will run. As you hold it, you will notice that the speed of the pump reduces in 10% increments. The speed is controlled to control the uh, viscous products. If you have a very viscous product you may want to slow the pump down. In most cases the pump speed is left at 100% speed. Button A, which is your full dose button, controls how long the full dose will run for. To activate this you press the button for half a second and release it. Every time the LED flashes represents one second of runtime. When you have reached the desired runtime, press the button and hold it till the light goes off. Button B, which is for your half dose, the same applies. Press for half a second, release. Each second indicates how long the pump will run. When you've reached the desired amount, again, press the button and the pump will stop. The pump is now programmed. We can now move the dip switch back to the right hand side which is the run mode. Now that it is in run mode you have two potentiometers which you can adjust still. Potentiometer A adjusts, adjusts the delay time. The delay time is once the button is pressed how long it will take before the pump actually runs. The delay time can be set between 0 and 20 minutes. If the potentiometer is set all the way to the left, it means that there is no delay time. If I move the potentiometer all the way to the right, it indicates a 20 minute delay time. In most cases, it is left all the way to the left with zero delay time. Potentiometer B is used to adjust the lockout time. The lockout time is how long the unit has to wait after it has dosed before it can dose again. If the potentiometer is all the way to the left hand side, this indicates a two minute lockout time. If it is adjusted all the way to the right, it goes to a 60 minute lockout time. What this basically means, if it is put all the way to the right, if I dose either the half dose or full dose, it will take 20 min 60 minutes before I can repeat the dosage again. In addition to this, we have the bottom button, which is the prime button. The prime button indicates or is used to prime the pumps. By pressing and holding the button, the pump will run. As soon as I let go, the pump will stop. The little red LED at the bottom here indicates when the unit is locked out and can no longer run. If I now press A, the pump runs for the desired time. Once this is finished, you will notice that the red LED will come on on the lock side and will remain on until the two minutes have elapsed.